called calculating unit rate. This is a review. If you guys recall, we have done unit rates. Um, we found unit rates of grocery store items by looking at pictures from the store. You guys did a group activity where you had a card that might have had an equation on it or a graph or a table or a word problem and you had to take that information and create the others. Recall? Yes. yes. This is us getting notes into our notebook about things we've already done. So, to find unit rates from tables. You find the value of one in the left column. The number in the column to the right of the one is the unit rate. I really appreciate seeing so many people ready for note taking right away. If there is no one in the table, set up a proportion using another pair in the table and a variable over one and solve. Finding the unit rate from graphs. Find the point one comma x on the line. This point is the unit rate. If you cannot clearly identify the coordinates of the point one comma x on the line, set up a proportion using another point on the line and a variable over one and solve. Can you solve it? What does number one Unit rate and proportion are the same words for both. Unit rate from equations. In an equation, the coefficient the coefficient of the variable, the number being multiplied by the variable, is the unit rate. Remember our clown video from FlowCab? He made $10 an hour and the equation was y equals 10x, right? Yes. For example, y equals 2x is telling you that y is equal to twice the value of each x. Real world unit rates. Again, we did this with pictures from the grocery store. Write the information you have been given as a ratio. And if you recall, we said if there's money involved, the ratio always has the money on the top and the unit on the bottom of the ratio. Two, either divide the numerator by the denominator or set up a proportion with the ratio equal to x over 1 and solve. We're going to do the next tab as well, percent change. This is closely related to what we're doing in Agile Mind now. Percent change is either described as a percent increase or a percent decrease. To calculate the percent change, you subtract new minus original. and divide it by the original. And you multiply that times 100. Why 100? Because we're trying to find a percent. So for example, last year 450 students were enrolled in an art program. This year, there are 320 students. Mm. What's the new and what's the original? Um, the, the new is 320. Hold on. New is? 320. And the original? 420. Okay. So we are going to set this up as 400. 
I'm sorry, last year was 450, 320 original, I'm sorry, new, no, no, there's less kids now, right? Yeah. Wow, I messed that up. Less kids now, the original was 450, as you said. We divide by the original, original. and we multiply all of that times 100. Okay? We're going to get a negative number. Yes. And that makes sense because it's gone down, hasn't it? Yeah. Okay, so 320 mm -hmm. minus 450 equals negative 130 divided by 450 negative 0.2888. Do you see how that's going on and on? Mm -hmm. And if I multiply that times 100, it gives me a percent which is negative 28.888 on and on and on percent. So we're going to call that a 28.9% decrease because this equaled negative 28.8 repeat. Mm -hmm. 28.9 percent decrease. It went down from 450 to 320. Our second example, the price of a movie ticket went from eight dollars to ten dollars. Is this going to be a decrease or an increase? Increase. Increase. We're going to calculate the percent change. What is the original? $8. What is the new? Ten dollars. And we take the new minus the original divide it by the original times 100. What is 10 minus 8? Two. Two. 2. What is 2 divided by 8? 4. four. four. Negative 4. four. 1 fourth. What's 1 fourth as a decimal? 0.25. It's going to be 25%, I'll bet. So 10 minus 8 divided by 8 oh, yeah. times 100, 25%. So this is a, because this is 25, right? This is a 25% increase. increase. Hmm. 